Hi, my name is Delmi and I am in seventh grade. Today I am reading Parker Looks Up an Extraordinary Moment by Parker Curry and Jessica Curry. Yeah. Parker her Curry loved to dance, dress in her favorite tutu. She imagined she was a queen, a dancing queen. But one rainy Tuesday, instead of going to dance class, Parker mom said, let's go to the museum. Ava, too. Parker loves visiting the museum almost as much as she loved twirling and leaping in the air. She put on her boots. Mom and her sister Ava buttoned up their jacket. Have fun, girls. Bye, Dad. And off they went. Splashing and smiling and surprise. Gaia Parker best friend greeted them from the top of the museum stiff. Yay, it's Gia. Once inside, the friends hurried down a long hall looking at the painting all around them. They saw prancing horses, blooming flowers. A blushy mustache and a shiny jeweled necklace. Two peacocks with red eyes and a basket of slimy fish. Ew. And feathers, a lot and a lot of brilliant feathers. Hurry up, Ava. When Gia spotted a playroom, she raced ahead. Parker charged after her. Explore. Let's make silly faces. After Gia stuck purple hair onto the easel and Parker added it a pirate hat and sunglasses, it was time to go home. Time to go, girls. Skipping down the halls, the girls spied a row, a row of frilly white tutus. Parker raised her arms. Gia spawned around and around and around. Wait for me, Parker called, dancing after her friend until she froze in her tracks and spellbound. Parker hurry looked up. A portrait of, of First Lady Mitchell Obama bloomed before her. She had a rich brown skin just like Parker and kind, familiar eyes that remind Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and yes, even of herself. How could someone look so real and so magical all at the same time? Who is she? Parker's mother voice held the air, her words <laughs> coming to rest squarely on Parker's tiny shoulder. She is a queen, Parker whispered, un unable to look away to move the breath. In the moment, Parker saw more than just a portrait. She saw a road before her with endless possibilities. Suddenly, Parker felt a small hand in her, and the spell was broken. Come look, Ava, she said, putting her arms around her little sister and standing tall. 
For Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong and even thought she hadn't moved. Inside, she was dancing.